This next lesson is number seven, how to align scan data to the origin. We're gonna start again by creating a new part file and using the import tool to find number seven, scan to coordinate system alignment. Hit open and we're going to see a part with some radial symmetry and a nice gear on the back side of it here. What I would like to do is I would like to mate the bottom plane of this part or the top plane of this part with my XY axis. And I'd also like the center line of these cylinders, some of these cylinders at least, to define my X or Y axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to create some reference geometry. And I can do that either by, like we saw last time, using the Smart Select and create the tools, or by region grouping this part and creating the tools that way. I'm going to region group this part, and we should see lots of nice colorful regions show up everywhere I've got kind of unique geometry. And at this point, I can go directly into my alignment tool. It's called Orient Mesh, right next to the Regions tool. And this will allow me to select my origin, my X, my Y, and or my Z axis and move it to the world coordinate system. I can do that by selecting either regions or using the Smart Select, Manual Select, or existing reference geometry selection tools. In this case, we're going to select regions. And I can't select origin with regions. Notice when I click on the origin, it defaults to only allowing me to use the reference geometry selection. The origin has to be a point, and no region can be solved to a point. So I'm going to skip down to the x-axis here. And I'm going to say my x-axis is the center line between this region which I'll select, and that region. All right, so the software automatically knows to best fit a cylinder to those two regions there. I can get my axis preview already in place. And I'll choose my Z axis here. And I'm gonna build a Z axis by selecting that region and that region. And based on what that region looks like, the software is intelligent enough to know whether or not to fit a cylinder or a cone or a plane to the selection that I've got. So for the Z axis, even though I've selected a plane, it's smart enough to actually build my Z positive from the normal vector of that plane. I can see a preview here, this blue, indicating to me where my coordinate system is going to lie. And I can see my preview x-axis here, y-axis, z-axis. My x-axis and my z-axis are aligned with the two regions um, that I selected or the geometries that I've extracted from those regions. If for some reason I want my z-positive to be facing the opposite direction, I do have a flip direction button. You can see my preview flip here. Same thing with X. And when I hit OK, the scan data is going to move and I can show my front top and right plane and the origin point by selecting them in the feature tree. Now, at first glance, it's not going to look like our parts moved correctly, but I can tell that that plane has been mated and my x-axis here is aligned with the zy plane. Now if that's not exactly where I wanted my origin to be, maybe I expected it to be in the center of this part, if that's where I'd prefer to have it, I do need to go through a little bit more of a step to create some construction geometry first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a reference axis and I'm going to make a selection on this region which goes all the way around the part 
And I'm going to extract a cylinder from that, get the axis. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to extract a reference plane. And I'm going to build that reference plane the same place I built it before, 1 and 2. The reason that I'm doing this with reference geometry and not regions is we saw before in the orient mesh tool that if I want to select the exact location of my origin it needs to be reference geometry it needs to be a reference point and I have to build that reference point from other reference geometry so I've got two pieces of reference geometry here and where this vector and that plane pierce one another I should get a point but you'll notice there's no point tool on the geomagic for SolidWorks toolbar to access the point tool I need to go to the features tab and use the SOLIDWORKS reference geometry to build a point at the intersection of that line and that face. And I get a preview in purple of that point when I build it and go back to the Geomagic for SOLIDWORKS tab I can now reference that point as my origin. So I'll select origin select point one and my coordinate system snaps directly to that and then from here like we did before my z-axis can be that axis and my y-axis well I didn't extract another axis using the reference geometry tool but I can go back to the smart selection tool or in this case since we have regions, the region selection tool, and select these two regions to define my y-axis. And then I do want to flip my z-axis so it's pointing up, hit OK, and if I hide those reference geometries and show my front top right plane in origin, I can see that they are aligned. If I use the default views inside of SolidWorks, I'm good to go. Now I hid these reference geometries here because they exist where the scan came from. They don't move with the scan data. So at this point they're just construction geometries, we don't need them anymore, and we can hit delete. 